this is Diane Dewald from creativecatcrafts.com and it is the month of July and if you're like me in the United States it's summertime and I want to be outside I don't know about you but I don't want to be cooped up in my craft room even though I love to create I need some things that are simple fast straightforward that can get me back outside enjoying the summer sun uh, of course protected with sunscreen so to continue with what we started last week with the lovely you stamp set we created this beautiful happy birthday card last week we are going to continue on with the lovely you um, my storyboard and yes that was my mistake from last week but this week we're going to add in the butterfly brilliance so the card we're going to create today is this very it looks elaborate but it's really very simple and on the inside um, just a little stamping a little splash of color and then you can write whatever you want to your recipient so let me move these off to the side and we are going to use our Stamparatus today so I've already got this little guy kind of set up and I do apologize for the glare let me see if I can support this over here but also kind of get rid of that glare for you guys there and I want this in shot but if I have it over there it's gonna get all inky hey hey I think I solved the problem you'll be able to see it okay get some things out of the way we are going to be using blending brushes today and the ink colors I'm using of course is our memento tuxedo black Pacific Point and Parakeet Party. We will also be utilizing, if I can find it, a stencil. This stencil, unfortunately, um, is retired, uh, but I said in a vid in last video or the, maybe the week before, I'm going to try to start pairing new product or current product with retired product so that you can use things in your stash and what you have on hand as well as look at uh, some of the the fun stuff that we have coming out so on that note um, our mini catalog that runs july through december uh, kicked off july 1st if you want to uh, go to my youtube channel and I'll try to remember to put a link in the bottom down in the description that links back to last week's it's the introduction of the new catalog and then celebration is running July to August so uh, it is free product when you buy product from either the annual catalog or the mini if you want to head over to creativecatcrafts.com there's also a link to all the catalogs that are current plus the introduction that I put out over the weekend so let's get onward so it's going to be a portrait card cut at eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter and I'm kind of swapping the colors out just a tad bit so let me get that off to the side then you'll notice on this one I have the parakeet party and this is Pacific Point um, my mat is going to be Pacific Point on this one rather than the other way around so this will go on the inside let me see which of these is bigger this is our inside um, sentiment uh, writing area uh, brain freeze for just a moment and then this is the layer for on the front and one last piece I just have some scrap copy paper that you'll understand in just a moment um, I will have all the dimensions 
and all the supplies that I used down below in the description, uh, a link to it, so that you can go ahead and pull the PDF. And we're going to start out with, get this together. Just put that down for just a moment. So this guy, doesn't matter um, really what size. I just make sure it's bigger than the layer that I'm utilizing. And the reason for that is we're going to tear. And you just want to kind of have it a little uneven. You can have it wildly uneven. That is completely up to you. And then we're going to put here on the cardstock covering it. And I got my magnets for the Stamparatus up here. Whoa. Magnets are sticking together. I have a bunch of magnets over there. And then we're going to do the same thing down here. But I'm going to turn it over because I want it a little different. And we'll just kind of put that there at the corner. Now that that's all secure, this is where we're going to color. And I'll pull you in here in just a moment. Why don't I go ahead and give that a try right now. Oh, that's much better. Much better for you to see. So decide what direction you want your temp, what, what your um, stencil, not template, stencil. Um, and this is what we're going to do here. So I'm going to hold this down because I don't want anything below to move around. Ah, some bits and pieces of the baby wipe I used to clean this off are stuck there. Okay, so make sure I got that butterfly brilliance handy too because it's got something on the inside that I need which you'll see in just a moment. So I'm going to go ahead and open these up. We're going to start with the Parakeet Party. And I'm going to put that over there because I've already stuck that blue one into the Parakeet Party. And so I'm going to load up my, my brush. I'm going to tap off just a couple times so that you don't get a, a real harsh. And then I think I see... And then you decide how heavy a hand you want in um, pick and laying down the color. The harder you press, the more vibrant that color is going to be. And I just want this green right through the middle and then up here on the corner. And I'm going to swap this over. And we're going to load up the Pacific Point. That gets really harsh. So, let's start down here. I can see, you probably can't see it, but I can see where the paper, the copy paper is underneath my stencil. And I'm just going to do that. This is really pretty when you take the stencil off. Okay, let me move that up there, off to the side. Now when you're lifting this up, be really careful not to move anything down below. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? And then you've been inking the stencil. So the top of the stencil, it's gonna have ink all over it. So do be careful when you do pick it up. I will clean that later with a baby wipe and then you can see when I peel this away you can see this line right there and I used our parakeet party I'm just gonna lightly load it up I'm gonna hold this down over here and then just I'm gonna lightly color this let's load up a little more A little 
more pressure. Let's see what we're getting. Ooh, that's kind of pretty. That's really pretty. Not kind of pretty. That's really pretty. So. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, I'm going to clean these brushes off a little. Sorry for the camera <laughs> moving around. And I'm not done with those yet. So, I'm going to need a scrap piece of cardstock. So, I want to move this out of the way for just a moment. And our inside, we're going to use this little butterfly from Butterfly Brilliance and I believe it's this guy right here and what I do when I want and I've demonstrated some things uh, where I've used the Stamparatus to do multiple stampings uh, that's that template but this time I'm going to use this template as a coloring mask and so This guy is uneven when, there we go. Okay. He's a, this one, this particular stamp's a little uneven when you ink him up. So hopefully, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, let's cover that up. I don't need the Pacific Point anymore. But for this guy, see how he fits beautifully inside of that and I'm going to press down whoops but I'm going to first load up my brush hold that down and I'm going to lightly start off the image and then as I'm on the image I'm going to press down a little harder we're going to give this little guy a little bit of color Ta-da! and there you go I think you can see Hopefully, yep, there he is. So just a little bit of color, not a whole lot. Uh, you can see it more, there you go. My, there, there we go. My lights are washing it out. So let me, whoop, there we go, back into focus. Let me put this back in here. And we don't need the parakeet party anymore. And... I'm going to put these guys up there out of the way so I don't, like, stick my hands in them. That guy aside. Don't need this anymore. This will put to the top. And let's get this little guy back out. So, I'm gonna scrap cardstock. So, I want to stamp the sentiment. And I know I'm lined up down here at the bottom with the cardstock. And the sentiment I chose is just because. And I want to make sure, I'm going to put him down here in the corner, but I want to make sure I have it lined up. So, ink it up. And is it straight? It looks pretty darn straight to me. So we can pull this guy up. These magnets are really strong. So make sure you keep them separate from one another. Otherwise you're likely to have a magnet sandwich that you'll end up breaking when you try to pull them apart. So you can save these if you're doing multiples. If not, um, toss it aside. And we're going to go ahead and move this over just a tad so you can see what I'm doing here. And I'm going to get that out of the way. Okay, it's just inking both of those up. And I'm going to lay this on to the cardstock. And I have this little, I call it a little doorknob, but it slides right across. 
make sure I get really good coverage. And the butt of this butterfly always, so I'm going to pull this guy up because that was a really good impression. Put him over on my stamp cleaner pad. I'm going to ink this guy up again. Hopefully the Stamparatus didn't move and I got them all in the same spot. Perfect. Isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous. Okay, so we are done with inks. I can get that out of the way. And put my magnets back on the bottom where they belong because we are done with this guy. I will clean that up later. And I'm going to go ahead and rip that off because sometimes that ink stays wet on this paper or just on any scrap paper. And uh, I've actually picked it up before. So let's get our green glue. If you prefer using the tape, that's fine. Um, do not need a lot of glue and this is really a very small bead and we're going to usually I put my strips on the outside of the card but this time we're going to put it in towards the fold and this one I lined up with whoops lined up with the top come on oh I missed my opportunity of movement But it's a little bit larger and I think you can see it's just slightly larger so I'm going to take my paper snips and I'm just going to snip that off there mm, I need to sharpen these or clean them off I think I need to clean them off Yep, there's some stickiness on there, so they did not cut very well. And if, if this is like the best adhesive remover uh, undo, I'll have a link down below in the video. It takes off glue from anything. I've poured it on inked images and it, they do not, do not run. Okay, next, 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 inside of the card. Let's go ahead and get this little guy secured to the inside and just a very small bead and I can slide that around a little and just in case if I have ink on my fingers I like to use my bone folder to make sure everything is really secure. And my little sheen has been up here. I have a little black kitty hair all over the place. I should take some time this week and take everything off my table here and clean it up. Get all that hair out of here. Okay. And final thing, get the, well not final, we have one more step after this and you're going to love. And the gemstones I'm going to use are retired, uh, but I need to use them up. So um, it, these are the Rhinestone Waves Basic Jewels and just like this one I did three here on the butterfly and then I did um, three down below so I'm going to use our take a pick tool with our little gummy end and 
which ones which ones work the best I want some big ones for the body and let's do these just gradually decrease the size and then down here I want these brilliant these are beautiful it's really disappointed that these got uh, discontinued after um, the waves of the ocean that and there was some beautiful paper that I'm gonna have to break out so here we are and that really didn't take us a whole lot of time I had things uh, pre-cut but like I said I'll have down below um, in the video description a uh, link to the supplies and the cutting dimensions and you can see here I tore my paper a little different from the first of this is the one I did uh, to line out uh, the, the, the project and this is the one we did just now you can see you can vary the size of your stenciled coloring and you can choose different colors um, there's different butterflies within that stamp set there's just you don't even have to use a butterfly if you've got some outline florals that you could put on there anything you have on hand would work and your stencil whatever you have you can you you can you can use whatever whatever you have on hand that's the name of the game today so thank you again for joining me while I took a short break from my outdoor activities and decided to spend some time in the craft room with you today. Hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you next Thursday.